Hi, this is Jatin Ambasna and today we will be learning some simple examples of ER diagrams. We will see how to make ER diagrams from some simple statements and we will take one example of a real statement and from that we will see how to identify various nouns, various verbs and similarly how to make a proper ER diagram corresponding to a problem statement. So let's start. Let's take first example. Children write examination. This is one statement which has to be converted into an ER diagram. So let's start using the ER diagram notations. We'll start with identifying nouns and verbs. So over here you can identify student as a noun, examination as a noun and write as a verb. So nouns normally become entities and verbs become relationships. So student write examination where student and examination are entities which are nouns write is a relationship which is a verb. So student writes examination. We can draw diagrams. We can draw diagrams corresponding to statements either in a top to bottom manner or from left to right manner. That is the way how do we how do we read the diagram. Now you can see this nouns as becoming the entities. If the statement is modified like this, students write examination. So the diagram will not change, but yes, a dimension to it will be added in the form of this. Yes. This represents cardinality. This star represents cardinality. It shows how many students are writing how many examinations. We can say many students write many examinations. So star represents many. That is many to many cardinality. An entity from student side is associated with many entities of examination side and in the manner of writing that examination. So this is how the diagram gets modified depending on the statement modification. Now let's take simple another example. Students attend classes. So obviously a student and classes are nouns and attends is a verb. So student and class becomes entities and attends become relationships. You can notice over here students S is not included in this entity. Classes E is asked. This E S is not included in this entity name. So entity name we keep it as singular only and to represent the multiple number of entities we associate it with cardinality. We use cardinality to represent how many entities of one side is associated with how many entities of other side. Let's take another example. Driver drives a car. Here we can say obviously one driver will be driving a single car at a same single time. At the same time one driver cannot drive multiple cars. So Yes, it may be possible that driver may be uh, uh, allowed to drive more than one car, but not at the same time. Obviously, that is not possible. So, we will give the cardinality as one. So, one driver drives one particular car at the same time. Yes, if the statement is modified like a driver is or a car is allotted to, many cars are allotted to single driver then a driver is allowed to drive many cars so one to many can be possible but this relationship will change in that case let's take a actual problem statement construct a near diagram for a car insurance company whose customers own one or more cars each each car is associated with it zero to any number of recorded accidents so you can see first let's identify nouns from this obviously car is one of the nouns customer is one of the nouns and 
accident is an event and here we can record events we can record information about any event so we can consider accident over here as an entity so events can also be stored as entities obviously that will not be a concrete entity but will, that will be a conceptual entity so customer owns car where owns is one kind of verb which represents one kind of relationship customer owns car accident we make it as entity and customer and car both participate in an accident now the question arises of cardinality so uh, yes i forgot to mention customer uh, takes part as a driver in the accident okay and the card related to cardinality one customer can own many cars and in one particular accident one customer is along with one car only along with his own one car participates in one accident if yes there are two cars then that car may belong to another customer it may be possible that the car may belong to one customer only the second car may belong to one customer only but at the same time another driver will be participating so that's it and hope uh, you will be able to construct more number of examples from this best of luck